Hi yeah, everybody, I'm Suwapi Eplai, I'm a student at South Cape College, uh, Pito Campus. I'm doing management assistant N6. So I've started uh, studying here in 2016, I've finished my first uh, three years. So now I'm doing uh, my second course. Uh, I've applied in January, so we only found out uh, this, uh, we didn't get any funds. And so I, write, I wrote a post uh, in Naisna asking for help because our campus said was not uh, our campus said was our campus said was ignoring us. He was telling us that uh, when we asking questions to him, he was telling us that we must do register. Then he told us uh, he sent uh, the timetables. For us to attend classes then he created uh, a link that uh, we maybe we must uh, vote for those who want to attend the classes and then for those who don't want to attend the classes then on wednesday we came here at the campus only to find out that we are not even on the NS nsfas portal then we asked uh, the basari office lady to come to us so that she can explain to us why we're not even in the NSFAS portal while we registered in January. Then she didn't uh, came to us. Uh, I wrote an email to the DHET uh, asking them about this issue. Then the DHET uh, consulted them. Then the personal office lady yesterday called me to the office and she was asking me why did I wrote the email to the DHCT. Then I told them that they were not giving us proper answers and now they are busy doing the NSFAS portal. We are, uh, when we want, um, we ask our campus side when we are going to get uh, the allowances because our landlords want uh, their monies and they are evicting, evicting uh, students. We are hungry. He doesn't want to give out the food parcels that uh, the community uh, donated. So we are pleading. We want answers. We want everyone who will listen to this to reach where it's supposed to reach. We tried uh, our best to call him to give us proper answers, but he is not uh, willing to come to us. Even the police were here. They called him to come to us to student, but he said that we uh, we voted for a SRC, but a SRC don't have all the answers that we want. It's him who have answers, but he's no, he doesn't want to come to us to give us the answers. Thank you. Hello, my name is Andy Swengapai, a student at South Cape College, Peter Campus. I'm doing management assistant um, N6. I'm one of those students who haven't been paid yet. Um, the thing is that the thing that made us to come this far to even consult journalists and even conducting DHET, we failed. We felt that the SRC failed us. Because what what we discovered is that all the SRC got paid. And then us, the N6 students, didn't get paid and we're not even on that system and we only had to find out that by one of us who had to go and check in the internet if we were there and then we found out that none of us were there so that's why we came to this decision to consult every department to get help because we felt that our voice were not being heard our campus has, our campus head is not giving us the answers that we want to hear because we are hungry we haven't been paid for three months there are donations that we're giving out and then there's only some of the food that was given out and some is still left in this school. That's why we had to go with these channels in order for us to get the answers that we felt that we were in need to us so that we can be satisfied because most of our students are being evicted by, our, by their landlords and then we are given food parcels. It's like they are not understanding that we don't need food parcels more than we need the money to pay our rents and then to cover all the needs that are that we need in order for us to survive. That's why we had to call this kind of help in order for us to get answers. Thank you. Hello, I am Siposeto Malchas. I am doing N6 Management Assistant at South Cape College, Beto Campus. Um, this problem that we have now, we have been going through this since 2019. And ever since 2019, we have been going through the same thing with our headmaster. He doesn't answer to us when we ask him questions. He has even closed groups for us to communicate with him. And he blue ticks us on WhatsApp. 
we have been fighting this thing since 2019 and it's the same thing over and over again and this year it's even worse students are struggling we are hungry some of us come from Cape Town some of us come from Eastern Cape and they suffering with food rent electricity and many more things and um <laughs> toiletries also and whenever we demand answers from our principal he doesn't answer to us we need him to be with us we need him to stand with us we are sick and tired of him treating us as if we're not people thank you and Denza E N C V Tourism Nated N5. As soon as it's at Tusi Bangel, no basi we can dis ya kwa imba mo kusinga ba phone. Kunga patale kwa ba phone. Kuko i na ni la ba phone desfunda na bo eli patale we. Ube ko elinga patale kang. E na ndom ni desum si ndo eli ba patale ba ni funda na bo ke ba ni patale. Andi zutu la mom na di pelele ab. Om nomza na low headmaster. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, my name is Asiveli Kanda. I'm from Eastern Cape. I'm here to study at South Cape. I'm doing my second year tourism in five. But I haven't paid for the past two months. And I haven't paid rent for the past three months. So my, my landlord has been evicted me. So where are you going to stay tonight? Or I don't know. Oh, uh, where, where are you staying? At phase one in Gobelo Street. Okay, did you approach your student counsellor or principal for assistance? Yes, I did. And they said they will call us for accommodation, but they didn't. Okay, so uh, what are you going to do? I don't know. Okay. Uh, and he said he will call police to arrest me because he said I was banning school while I didn't do that. Okay. Okay, so maybe you should speak to him again. No. Okay, well, what he does is that he, he promises to give letters to the, to the students that are being evicted from the landlords. He promises, the, he promises them the letters to give to the landlords and yet he doesn't give them that. So I don't think, did you get, did you get the thing in your, your letter? Yes I did and I sent it to, to the landlords. Because the, land, the, the, the landlords have been too understanding and it's been long. Yeah. Some students didn't even receive their, um, their allowances since last year, December. And they finished writing their exams at, on the 10th of December as well. Also, so how much is your rent? 1,000. So you owe 3,000? Yes. Okay. And as, uh, is, is it him or her? Her. She's not prepared to wait? She's waiting. She's been waiting for too long. Okay. Alright. Well, I hope somebody here can assist you. Kirsty Odudu and I'm a student at South Cape College and I'm doing Human Resources N5. So basically we had a meeting with our campus head and there was the deputy mayor with us. So the deputy mayor had promised to find a place for students so that they came in so they can they find a place to stay while they're being evicted by their landlords. So basically a person came to collect those I think there were six students right mm. Mm. but the principal chased that person away so basically what is he what is he trying to do you see there are people who you were that you at that day you were there ne? yes I was there you see that day it was I think it was two days back mm. yes. so imagine they've been sleeping on the streets since then and he chased the people who were coming to allocate them places to stay who are the people that we're going to allocate? The mayor, the deputy mayor, the deputy mayor. and the advisor to the mayor. But the mayor, deputy mayor was here yesterday. He did the not say anything the about the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. But he said he will call us. I never received he never any call. Those six students never received any calls 
since then. They've been waiting and they've been evicted since then. They are homeless right now. They don't have any place to stay. Okay, uh, all six of you here? Who else has been evicted? Where is this six guys? Um, has anybody tried to contact the deputy mayor to follow up? They tried contacting him, but he has not been responding to them. Okay. Mm. All right. I would like to. Hello, my name is Sigwangile Tandali. Um, yesterday we had a meeting here, so I raised a point, and then and then someone went to tell away with it. I was the one who was being forward here, so he sent me a text on WhatsApp last night with it. Hello, my name is Wengile Kandan. Yesterday we had a meeting here and then I raised a point. Uwebu contacted me. Someone went to Weber and told him that I was the one who's, who was being forward here. And then he contacted me that after the strike I will be suspended. So I, I, would, I would really appreciate that he, he was threatening, threatening me. That's all I want to say. What is the point we're trying to raise? The um, I, I say that he should be removed as the principal of Peter campus. Why do you think he needs to be removed? Sorry? Why do you think he needs to be removed? He, he failed us as students and there are many problems. He just don't solve them. He's not communicating with us. You do know it's a national problem though? Yes, I do. Even, even last year, the, the, I think the reason why she's raising this point... Another piece? Yes. I think the reason why she's raising, raising the point of him being um, removed was because um, last year when, when we were striking with uh, the matter um, relating to what's happening now, was the fact that we made a petition that he should be removed. So we don't understand what, what happened after that because we made a petition that he should be removed and that we want Mr. Klein Hall to be um, the, the campus head. So he's still in charge and he's still not uh, treating us well, he's threatening people and he's, he just isn't doing well. He isn't even putting pressure on, uh, he, he's not even giving us answers on what's really going on with um, our funds because um, the, only the, the same, I think it's about 150 something students out of the people, out, out of the campus only getting paid countless times. What about the others? What about the ones that are getting evicted? And we last paid our rent um, in October. We finished writing our final exams in October. So we asked him uh, why are they not paying us but we did uh, stay where we are staying. Then our landlords were wanting their money. Then he said that uh, NSFAS did pay the money but NSFAS is owing uh, the college so he won't give us uh, that man it's for the college and it's, it's October, November, December, January, February, March we have not been paying rent and he's not giving us proper answers he doesn't have leadership skills he doesn't know how to lead he doesn't know how to answer his student I don't know how to describe him but I, he's not uh, supposed to be the leader he's not supposed to be the campus said because he's not leading us, he's not giving us uh, answers, he doesn't come up with solutions. Instead, he's threatening us. Thank you. My name is Zipoana Poza. I'm doing management assistance at N5. I would like to say that Mr. Weber is not transparent because he doesn't care anymore. Because I'm not a charity case on this student because I've been complying, asking food to Diveria, one of his staff. They did give me the food, but it was not enough. It's not like I'm not grateful. It ended before the week ends. So I did ask the food parcel that they asked on behalf of our names as students. The one that I don't know what they are doing with this food parcel that they have there. Because I think now it's rotten. They don't want to give the food to the students. Why they ask the food for us as students on, their, on our names? He doesn't care anymore. 
I came from the Eastern Cape, but now you can describe me as a charity case of this student. This student come too far on their own to hustle for their families here. Yeah. I can't keep begging on the student for the food. They have nothing, they didn't get paid, but they tried to give me something to eat on that day. It's not fair. He doesn't deserve to be our campus head because he doesn't care anymore. How can you sleep at night but you are here each and every day protesting? But the only thing you can say is calling the police from George and Olson to arrest us. What did, we, what did we do? Because we were not doing any violence here. It was a peaceful, it was a peaceful strike. It's not fair. It's not fair. He doesn't do anything. And he's the one who's misleading us, not our SRC members. Maybe he knows what he's talking about when he said that our SRC members are misleading us. They are together on what they are doing because they are the one who got paid, all of them, but we didn't receive anything yet. It's been two months, but no implementation that he's doing. Starting from last year, November, we didn't receive our allowance until now. He must pipe down. Enough is enough. Enough! Yeah. Enough! enough. 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 enough.